welcome back to City Skylines. We have our beautiful city here, Gulf de Mer. Very fitting name for this lovely little town on the Gulf. And look at that, we could actually buy a new area of land. I don't think we wanna do that just yet because we really haven't taken advantage of all of this land quite yet. But that is definitely good to keep in mind. So it looks like we do have some crime going on over here. And we do have a police station here that should be able to reach this. It looks like the only area we're not covered is like over here on this side. Oh no, wait, that's fire. Police station, oh my gosh, they can't even reach this. So we do need to put in a police station and we don't have money. That is a bit of a bummer. So I guess we'll just have to speed this along and wait until we get $12,000 to put in another police station. And let's check in the meantime, we have water, we have electricity. So that is looking pretty good. I'm kind of wondering if maybe it's even worth just taking out alone just to like help get some things going here but it looks like that got resolved so i guess we're okay now what we need at the moment is more residential so if we come in here we can see that we've left some of these areas open i think we'll actually just go ahead and make all of this residential here and then maybe this bit here as well And maybe we could do like this portion here, a little bit more here. I would kind of prefer to leave this open for like commercial or maybe a park. So I'm actually going to dezone like a little sliver here, like so. And maybe, oh, we have enough for a police station. So let's do that first. So it looks like our current capacity, we can't reach this area. So I think it would be helpful to consider putting a police station in here. And then for fire, it would be more helpful to put one in somewhere over here when we can. Now, if we look at our unique buildings, we have no money, so never mind. <laughs> um, maybe. I don't think we've unlocked parks yet either. Parks and plazas, 1300 people. So let's see what our citizens need right now. I think, oh, garbage processing is bad. Why is it bad? So we have this here, and they are basically at capacity. So maybe we should pause. One truck in use, because they're pretty much at capacity. We need 16,000 for another recycling center. That is not ideal. We could put in a landfill. So I am thinking that we will take out a loan. I think what we should do is go for the larger loan amount, but the interest is so much higher. Um, you know what, let's do the smaller loan amount. And then we can come in here and put another recycling center. I would kind of like to keep everything over here. And it does have a pretty large radius as far as the, is this noise pollution or pollution? So pollution radius is very far, but there's not that much pollution. And the noise radius is also far. So let's see, I can't really tell like what is creating what, But 
But I almost think we'll want to do like a grid up here and place it up this way. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll come over here and do a grid off of this. And then we'll place the recycling plant there. And then I just want to put like a nice little road in. I think there. Probably not that far over. Maybe just this far over. And then we can delete this little road bit here. That looks nice. So we'll go ahead and hit play on that. And we do still have quite a bit of need for residential, but let's see if that satisfied garbage. Yes, processing status is in the green, and we have no landfill usage. So we should be good on garbage for now. Elementary school, we have plenty of capacity. High school, we do not have available yet. And I don't think we've unlocked it. We still need some more people, so we'll have to wait on that one. But traffic is still good. I think we're in a pretty good spot. I am curious, so if you mark something a historical building, like let's pick a building that we think looks really cool. Maybe one of these like little beachfront homes. Like I kind of like that one. So if you make it a historical building, it can level up, but its visual appearance will be preserved. Oh, we don't really care about that. So we do need residential. I do need to figure that out. That seems to be a bit of a priority. I want to leave this area for a park. I think we can just put residential here. Maybe here as well. It's really hard to see during the nighttime is what I'm realizing. And I think we are leaving this bit to come off and do industrial over here, if I recall. So we'll need to figure out how to put in more housing with what we've got. And we did it! We are a tiny town. We are a population of 1,300, which means we can now do industry areas, landscaping. Very exciting. So we can do paths and things like that. Um, parks and plazas, finally. Football. So cool. And then we have a bunch of new policies here. And then we also unlocked new roads. So we have a fishing route, a industry road, a couple of industry roads, some new canals, fences, and then all of our beautiful parks and a high school. So we know the high school is going to be rather important. Um, I also want to pay off this loan as soon as we can. But let's use the money we have to first put in a park. This park is massive. I kind of liked this park. I think this is like a good size for this area. And it is going to knock out this building. But you know what? I think that's fine. So we'll do that. And then we can actually put in some like little paths here. So we can change the terrain. And then we can do a gravel path or a pavement path. And these just offer... I think walking access, maybe biking access as well. I'm not really sure, to be honest. I think the gravel path is fine, though. So the cost of the pavement is 20 cents per cell, 40 cents per week. The gravel is 10 cents per cell, 24 cents a week. To be honest, I don't think it really matters if they have a nice path. And I kind of think the gravel will, like, give a little bit of a different look from the roads. So what we will do is turn off, I think, road length and maybe road guidelines. And I just want to put this in here. I would like to also connect it there. But I think that will fit perfectly through there. That looks really nice. And then I'm not sure if this connected to this. I 
That looks like that's connected up really nicely. And then we can do the same thing over here if we want to. Or maybe we want to connect this side in down here to provide a little bit of a different access path. We are going to lose a building now. To be honest, I think it's fine. And we do have kind of like a funny little hill here. So I'd like to level that out. So I think we'll do this height. And then we'll kind of like level that out. Is that better? There's like still this like weird lumpy bit. I think is almost gone. I think that kind of fixed it. Looks a little bit better. Cool. So we have some paths in here to like help with walkability and stuff and then I don't know exactly what's going on in this area. Maybe we should try and fix that as well. So we'll level out the terrain. We'll click here. And then I think we'll just kind of try and... I don't know if that's really helping anything. Maybe that's making it worse. I don't really know. Well, good enough for me. So we have a park in, and then we'll want to put in a high school. I'm thinking for the high school. And maybe we actually could fit, like, another something in here. Like, a tiny little... Oh, they have to be placed on a road. They can't be placed on, like, a path. That is kind of a bummer. So I guess we'll just decorate this area then. Maybe we'll do, like, a few benches... I don't really know how to rotate benches, so they're all just kind of facing like wonky ways, but that's okay. And then I want to add some trees, maybe some rocks. Like this rock is, oh my gosh, this rock is huge. And how do you rotate it? Oh, like that. Holy smokes, that rock is massive. Not happening. What about this one? That is still really cool looking, but not like a total disaster. So I think we'll put that in maybe like here. Maybe we'll do like a couple of rocks in there. I don't know what I'm doing, if I'm being honest. Trees, I think that looks like the same type of tree. Maybe we'll do like a few. And then maybe we'll do like a couple of like bushes. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing if I'm being honest. Oh, this looks nice because this is like huge. So if we put this in here, it'll kind of like help cover up this like ugly bit here. That looks pretty good. I'm happy with that. I'm not too mad at it. Okay, so back to more important things. We need to figure out where we're putting our high school and where we are expanding our residential section. I think naturally 
we could do more residential in here. Especially coming off of this one. I don't even think we really need to connect that. We can just kind of leave it. And then we'll put in a couple of paths through here. So I see a good opportunity to actually put a path in there I'm not really sure where I want this path to go maybe we just want it to go in here and then come like straight through to there is that weird like kind of weird but not like super weird I think that's okay that just gives us kind of like a shortcut through there and it takes you straight to the crosswalk which is nice whoa so we can do like fishing oh my gosh and for some reason oh my gosh look at that it's because of our sewage thing the pollution's high so we killed all the fish but we do have some fish up here this is so cool so I wanted to test something out. So fire engines, we have six right now. But if we come in here and we up our fire department budget by just 1%, that gives us actually an extra truck. So I am going to up all of these by just 1% so that we get like an extra whatever. I don't know if we get anything extra from the school, but maybe it's worth doing so let's check it out on parks and plazas parks and plazas i don't think it would give us anything and then the school is here so that gives us 303 students versus Three hundred students, so not really worthwhile, but I think it's worthwhile on some of these other ones. This one looks like it allows them to house more vehicles, so we are going to up that by one percent just in case. I don't think the rest of these really matter too much, but I really came in here because our electric electricity is low, so we are going to have to think about how we want to increase that yet again. And I think we will do that with more windmills. So we'll put another one there. And then we should be able to put our budget back down, hopefully to 100. And then we do need to finally zone more residential. I know I keep saying that and I keep like not doing it but we do need to desperately zone more residential. So I'm going to zone all of this residential here. And then I think I'd like to keep a good mix of commercial. So we'll do that commercial. I think that should be pretty good. And then we need to make sure we have water, which it looks like we do have water coverage, so we should be fine there. So let's go ahead and hit play. And our electricity is back up. Our water sewage treatment is down. But we could up our water. And there we go. That fixed that. So we should be fine there. Now these people are complaining that we don't have enough buyers. Which makes sense because our demand for green is pretty high. But we should have some residential popping up here. I think we could zone this little bit residential. Oops, not that one. 
this one. And maybe a little bit more there. I would like to get some more paths in, so we'll go ahead and do a path from here. Oh, it's going to wipe out one of these houses, though. We can do it right through there. And then we'll come up here and do that bit there. And there we go. So we have another path going through here. And now we can come in and zone this area residential. Build an industry area. So we can now create industry areas and build out specialized industry so cool so we can actually do like a forestry zone over here so i think if we paint this as industry and we do i'm gonna do like to here and over this will be our forestry industry up through there and we'll call this we're calling this forest de mer because i cannot think of any other names but it didn't change forest de mer is the name i'm not very creative anywho we need to connect all this in i think we'll have to upgrade this road here to a one of these And then we will draw in from here, I think to there. And then coming off this road, we'll have this. But I need to figure out how we want to go about going in this way. So now it says we need to zone this, I think, as forestry I don't really know how this works so we painted this industry and I don't know if we need to like do anything with this button here so I'm also going to take these trees here and I think what I'm going to do is kind of like populate this because if we come into this we can see it's like not super green but if I do this it actually becomes more green and expands our green area. However, those trees are dying, unfortunately, so we won't go over too far. But we can kind of create like our own, let's see how far I can go over, our own like forestry zone. And then that makes this whole area like very green, which is good. So we'll do that. It'll look a little bit funky for a moment. We could probably demolish some of these like little dead trees. It's fine. And then if we go under industry and we go to the forest industry, we can put a main forest building. That we will go ahead and put in, I think, here and look at that we if I can close that out we have now reached level one which means we have access to a sawmill a tree plantation and a small log yard and we'll probably want to place that right in here
But seeing as we don't have very much money, I do feel like we should kind of hold off on that for now. And I do want this to be rezoned as forestry, so I would like to kind of move over our industry over here. And see if we can like fix this area to be rezoned as forestry. I'm thinking I want to upgrade this road here to be a this road. We are going to lose some people, which is not going to make people happy. But I just think it makes way more sense than what we have going on right now. And then we also probably want to do that road, I think, coming through here. So if we come on this end, I think we'll just kind of, like, weave it. Should probably keep it straight and go up that way. And I want to do a test. So if we look at our district, it should cover all of this. So if we just put a yellow patch here will we get a forestry building or will we just get something totally different frank's fish stick factory i don't think that's gonna work for us to be honest oh well it's too late we also have ready to wear and garments limited i don't think those are like forestry specific buildings so I've clearly done something wrong. So what I'm go going to do here is put in a one-way road like that. And then, yes, fishing industry. Yes, fish. Yes, 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 yes. Not right now. We don't have money. Um, what I'm going to do is put in a high school that I have no money for. We need $24,000. That is a lot of money. So I guess I'm not going to put in a high school. Instead, we're just going to put in more residential. But eventually, we'll put in our high school here. So I think we'll have quite a bit of demand for that, which means we should look at building a neighborhood, I think, up here. Maybe just one thing like this. And then we'll come off here and go to here, up here. And then we need water, so we'll do water pipes through here. Before I forget, we'll do water here as well. And then we can just put in green all in here. I think even back here. And then we'll do some, like, blue, maybe not that close, maybe, like, there. And they need electricity. So, unfortunately, oh, it looks like they just connected. Okay, good. There's an abandoned building. Oh, my gosh, why are people leaving? <gasps> so, they left. I don't know why. It doesn't really say. What about them? They left. For no reason. Okay. Now these people are complaining about not enough educated workers. Okay. So the high school is extremely, extremely important because right now we just don't have any educated workers and people are very, very, very upset spaghetti about that. So now that we're expanding up here, we need to check on our garbage, which looks like they can reach everywhere so i think we're okay and then we need to check on water electricity and these people are very 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 upset about the workers but unfortunately i don't have money so i can't do anything about that because we still need twenty four thousand dollars so what i'm thinking is we should just pay off this loan payment left sixty one hundred dollars so let's just go ahead and pay this one off and then we can now take out this larger loan and that will give us enough money to pop in the high school up here so we'll go ahead and do that 
I think we should put a library next to it. Or maybe we should spread things out a little bit and do a library over here. So if we look at leisure, that is the other area that we are currently struggling in. We don't really have a whole lot as far as leisure over here. And I think we could put one here because it doesn't really matter if it's close to the industry area. So we'll just pop one in there. I think we'll just connect up this part over here. Like that. And we'll give them a little bit more access. Looks like we unlocked another building, Institute of Creative Arts, another very expensive building that we cannot afford. I do hear a lot of leveling up going on, so I think everyone is pretty happy with the changes we've made, but they still would like to see more educated workers. I think that's just gonna take some time though, as we get people through high school. And now we have a massive demand for residential. So what we need to do is come over here and start to expand our residential area. And unfortunately, I think that means some of these houses are gonna have to go. But we can always just pop those back in pretty quickly since demand's really high. And maybe we can even do a little bit of residential back here. And then we will need to make sure that all of these new folks have water. Because I don't think they're all connected. So we'll have to connect this up here. Connect that over here. Not the prettiest connection job, but it works. And our electricity levels are very low, so we do need to add in another windmill here. Maybe we should look at adding one in over here as well. Why not? And water-wise, we have tons of water, but we could use more sewage treatment. So we will do this and put another eco outlet on here. Now that should help us with sewage as well as electricity. And electricity is definitely up and running. That part looks good. Sewage is good now as well. So we can come in here and lower our budget on water and sewage. And now we should be perfectly balanced, which is lovely. So for this foresting area, we need to first get raw products. That makes sense. That seems very logical. And I think we can do that under forestry and then we can do I think this small tree plantation, I think. Yes, so that's an extractor building. And then we'll have to get this sawmill over for processing. And then this is a storage building here. So let's start off with this small tree plantation. And then we will need processing and storage. And I do want to leave kind of a space actually. Oh, they need water. That would be good. That would be wise. We will go ahead and give them some water. And I kind of want to switch over to some like industry roads for this bit here. So let's see what we have. We have a small industry road, two lane industry road. I'm thinking we will move this road up here. And 
then we can upgrade. I think we'll do this as a one-way road. And that will be a one-way road. Like that. And seeing as demand for residential is still extremely high, we'll sort that out before we do anything else in the industry. So I'm thinking what we will do next is look at building maybe some sort of like diagonal stretch here. So that we can put like a park on the corner. So let's see what we can do with the park. Like if we want to put like a dog park's really tiny, maybe we want to do something more like something a bit larger scale. Something like that would be good. I think like that actually, like a really nice park. And we'll put it here off the side street. And then we'll come up here and do a road basically straight across. I think that should be fine. And then we can do some residential grids off of this road. So we'll go up to here. Maybe we'll go over here. And then we'll residential grid this whole area. I'm trying to really focus on doing like the center pieces first. That way we don't put ourselves in a position where we can't build any roads off of it without getting rid of a bunch of homes. So that's kind of my thought process. I don't know if that really makes any sense, but I'm also trying to make it a little bit different, a little bit interesting. And we're losing people. Why are we losing people? Garbage is fine. Education's going up. Water is good. Electricity is not so good. And we cannot afford another windmill, so we're just going to have to up our electricity budget. Maybe up it a little bit more. That should be good. And then over here, I want to put a path in for this bit but i'm gonna wait till the daytime because it's really hard to see what you're doing when you're putting paths in in the nighttime okay so it's starting to be daytime so i can actually see what i'm doing so this is connected here i can't tell if it's like connected here or not oh no it's not so it's just connected off of the side road which is exactly what we want but we do want to connect it through here so i'm thinking we'll just do a straight path in from here to maybe not a straight path in let's try it the other way around we'll come out this way and we'll go straight to there perfect so we now have a path in here to this neighborhood and that looks really nice so we can add in our residential units here behind the park that should be a really good place for them. We could do a little bit more commercial. I think maybe if we put some in front of the high school, that could be a good place for it. Or we might need to look at adding more health care. Because right now, these people have no health care, no fire access, and limited police access. So let's start with the health care building, since we can actually afford that one. And we will put it in, I want to do it off of a side street up here. I think maybe we'll do it off this street here. And then garbage wise, we are actually dropping into the yellow on our processing. 
And we do have a couple of people that are a bit upset about the garbage situation. So I think our next move is going to be to add in another recycling plant. Although we don't have the money for it and they are quite expensive. So we might just have to settle with a landfill and sort that out later. I am a little bit nervous about this situation over here for fire since this area is like not covered at all. So we do need to add in some fire. I think we're okay as far as the crime. Nothing too crazy going on there. Okay, our trash situation is becoming a little close to dire, but we're so close to being able to afford another recycling center. And I am curious to see if anyone's actually using the paths we created for them. <gasps> Look at that! Look at all the people! How nifty is that? Yes, I know, there's garbage. It's okay. And our park is alive and well. So as far as this recycling center, we can't really put it there because they're going to be unhappy with the pollution. We could probably squeeze it in like here. I think that would be okay. Or we could also do it off of this road up here. That road's a little bit close for comfort. So maybe we just squeeze it in here. And we can officially afford it. So we're going to do that. We now have a recycling center in here, and everyone should be very happy with the garbage processing status now. Residential zones in great demand. I realize that, but I also have no money to do anything. So unfortunately, we are kind of SOL at the moment. But I guess we could put a little bit more in here. And we can maybe come back off of this road here. It's a little bit close to the high school. Oh, and we did it! We got Boomtown. Population of 2200. So we unlocked a new area. We unlocked transport, ferry, bus, post, or industry new policies, lots of new roads, and a lot of new buildings. Finally, the advanced wind turbine. I think that will be a good one. And we can put a ferry in. Lots of good stuff here. But seeing as residential is the main focus, I'm just going to worry about getting that set up for now. And it looks like that gave us a little bit of money, too, which is really nice. Because we were struggling. So let's put in another firehouse. I think maybe next to the park could be a good place for this. Like, kind of on the corner here. We'll do that. I think another police station is definitely warranted as well because we're almost at capacity on our jail cells. So we'll do that. We'll increase our capacity. And then we need to check on medical. We should be good. Fire. I think we're more or less covered. This little area is kind of struggling. But if we just put a road in through here, that should actually fix that issue. So let's do that. Let's do a road. I don't want to do something like that. Maybe we do it. Maybe we come through this side. Yeah, I think that's good. So we'll set that up. And then, yep. So that fixed our fire access here. So they can now mostly cover that area, which is nice. And then we are going to need elder care probably soon, as well as a crematorium or a cemetery. We definitely cannot afford the crematorium. We haven't unlocked it yet. So we'll have to do a cemetery, which I think... I 
doesn't create any sort of pollution. Maybe we could do it here. I just don't know if they'll be able to like really reach everything. It looks like they can mostly access everything. So we'll do the cemetery here. People are very happy to have dead bodies by them, apparently. It kind of looks like a park though, so it kind of works with the whole like residential vibes. I think that looks really cool. Now let's see our loan. We owe $51,000 still. Jeez, that is quite a lot of money. I would like to pay that off sooner rather than later. But for now, we'll just keep trekking along with our residential district up here. And maybe I'm wondering if we should connect this road here with like a one-way road up to here. I don't see why not. That could work. It's going to be like slightly off, which is kind of annoying. But it's not that noticeable. Maybe we could like move this node like ever so slightly out this way. I don't know if that really helped at all. Hard to tell. And then we'll continue back up here with this road. And then we'll fill in our water pipes. Now, elder care it says increases lifespan and provides a health and entertainment bonus for seniors. But we don't have money for that. So for now, we will ignore that. And let's keep going with all of this as residential. I do want to do a, like a park back here and I do want to put in some pathing here as well. So let's do that before I forget. We'll just go straight up this way and we'll put a path in right about I think like that should look good we'll do the same thing on this side maybe just so it's kind of nice and symmetrical and then we can put like a park in the middle there. And we can now collect ro road tolls, but I don't have money to do that. So not today. I think a dog park could be quite nice here. I'll put that in and it's a little bit lopsided. Yes, child health care. We know, but we don't have money. So... I'll put that in and then I think we'll just do like maybe some trees in here just to kind of blend it in a little bit more. Maybe a couple of like bushes. There. A post office. I don't really think the post office does that much. At least like not enough for such early days in the game to really like do anything about it. I'm not sure why crime rate is high because we do have a police officer literally right there. And then on this side, we might as well put in like a little bit of a neighborhood, maybe through, maybe we'll just do like a cul-de-sac to here. we'll do a cul-de-sac like right up against that so that they can access this path 
We'll make sure they have water. It looks like they do. And then we can add in residential. Pretty much all in here. Maybe we'll do like a touch of commercial. There, there, here. Maybe here. And we could probably just do residential till there. They're complaining about garbage again, but everything is very, very well covered at this point. So we're just going to ignore that complaint. And then education is definitely getting better. We are starting to run out of capacity a little bit on the elementary school. So we might want to look at adding another elementary school when we have the money. But for now, I think it's pretty good. And water supply is getting low, so we should fix that. We have plenty of room in our water budget, so we'll up that. There we go. And we have fires over here in our industry. But it looks like they're here. They're here to save the day. So I think for now our like demand for every um, zone is pretty good. And there's not really much to do until we get enough money to pay back our loan. We're just gonna let it run until we've made enough money to pay back our loan. While we wait for our money to accumulate, I'm also gonna decorate this little bit here. All right, so I kind of filled in this little area here with like some kiosks and stuff just to kind of make it look a little bit nicer with the high school. And then we'll maybe like look at filling in some of those spots there. But we do have enough money to pay back our loan. And we still have money left over to even start adding in some care for children and elderly. So elder care is 22000 Child care is 18,000. I kind of think maybe we start with the elder care actually. And maybe it doesn't have like, it has a pretty big radius actually. If we put it in the center, maybe across from the high school. That's kind of weird though. I think like the child care, I don't know. Actually, neither really makes sense there. I mean, we could put it here. It doesn't really cover everything, though. Could put it there. I don't want to do it off the main strip. So I actually think here is probably the best place for it. It's just going to look a little bit funky. But we'll go ahead and do that anyways. And that is definitely helping with our average health of our elders. And then looks like crematorium availability is zero. Oh, because we don't have the crematorium yet. That is right. We don't unlock that until we hit 14,000 people. So let's see. Our commercial happiness is not so great. 
probably because they want more people buying their goods, which means we need to expand yet again in our residential. I don't know why someone's like asking questions about the toll booth when I don't even have a toll booth. Like so strange. So let's come in here and do kind of like an interesting design. We'll do that and then come up here. This is going to be kind of a small junction, but I guess that works. And this gives us a little bit more space for residential and maybe even some commercial too. I think we could put commercial kind of along like this part here. Just like a little bit. And then we can do the rest residential. Like that. We can do commercial here. And that looks like it mostly satisfied our residential demand. So back over here, I'd like to do some more trees, a little bit more decorating. I think we'll stick with maybe this one. Looks like it matches the rest of them pretty nicely. We can come a little bit over here. There we go. So demand is kind of evened out a little bit now. And we have money. I don't we don't have a loan, which is awesome. So we can actually focus on our forestry setup over here. Because right now this is producing products, but it's not actually doing anything with those products. So we need to set up a sawmill. And the sawmill does have noise pollution, but no actual pollution. And I'm thinking we could kind of do that in here. And then we also want to look at putting in a storage lot that I'm thinking we could put in maybe off of like a road up here. So if we want to take maybe like the two lane industry road, I think we'll just come up there and see if that will work. I think that should fit perfect. So we'll pop that in there. And this is all a one lane street, so I would like to look at doing, I think that's what this is already. So we'll keep this all one way and then we'll put in a road from basically here to there, to there, and then delete that little road bit. And now this is all one way going into and out of this, so people can just kind of go through there. And then we'll add in some trees right here. Or maybe actually we'll do a path just to kind of make it look a little bit more industry. That looks really nice and blends with like the natural architecture. And if we look at this, we can see
we are currently producing timber and we're not making money but maybe oh my gosh we're losing a lot of money that is interesting I wonder why that is that seems very, very odd. Maybe we just haven't sold anything yet. Or maybe we need... I don't know. We have the storage. And the storage is currently... Storage is currently getting full with logs. And I guess we want that unbalanced. We're now losing less money, but we're still losing money. I don't know why that would be. Really does not make any sense. Honestly, I have absolutely no idea, but we are still making money every week. So I'm just going to let it do its thing. Oh, look at that. We are now making 911. Oh, this was like our total profit. I see. So now that we're selling stuff, we actually are making money, which makes a lot of sense. So that is actually going really well. And it looks like we have plenty of goods. So I think we're good on that one. And we'll just kind of leave that. And we are somehow, oh my gosh, we are struggling big time with electricity. And that really didn't help very much. Oh, gosh. Okay. So we're going to max out the electricity. Oh, gosh. Okay, so we need to, like, pause, pause, pause. We need to figure out a way if we want to do, like, the advanced wind turbines. But I think... Yeah, these do have higher power output. However... With the noise pollution, I wonder if that disrupts our, like, fishing industry. Because we have, like, these areas of fish that kind of... Maybe we could fish up here, though, and just kind of keep this area full of pollution. But we want this to be at 20 megawatts. So we're going to have to come out quite a ways. And I don't know if that's going to connect. Let's give it a go. And it does connect. Amazing. So if we hit play, that definitely fixed our energy crisis. However, it looks like we could actually still use a few more of these. And I'm wondering when we'll actually start to get something a little bit more efficient. I think we still have a ways off from that. So let's go ahead and look at putting in another one of these. I think cost-wise, since these are 6,000, these are twice as much, but they produce more than twice as much. And the upkeep is 80 versus 200. I think it kind of ends up being the same. It just kind of gets things off of the land and doesn't take up as much room. So we'll put another one here. And that's definitely helped with our energy crisis. So I think we could probably lower these back down. Maybe even more. That's maybe a little bit too much. And that should be good. So we've lowered that down. And now you are complaining about your trash still. I think it's because their house is like hidden behind this house I'm not really sure how that even got built there to be honest and yet they're building again but like they're not connected to the road I'm just gonna delete that I don't feel like anyone should be building there I think that's like a glitch maybe you are upset about your garbage Well, I can't do much about that, so 
I think we are good on garbage. Should be good. New piece of land, geez. And we are actually making money now. We have 100,000. Our industry area, though, we could look at growing that a little bit. But I would first like to figure out how to actually set this as like a forest district. Even though I painted it with industry, I don't think it really worked. Maybe we have to like paint something else. I don't know, but if you know, let me know in the comments how I can get this whole thing to be industry and not just like general industry. I want it to be like forested industry, if that makes any sense. Let me know in the comments. But I think we're going to leave it here for today. Thank you so much for watching another episode of City Skylines and stay tuned for the next one. Don't forget to like comment, subscribe, let me know what you think. Let me know in the comments if you can figure out any of the issues that I had and I'll see you next time.